Good morning everybody, welcome back to another day. Today is a Sunday, I don't know when you're going to be watching this, but it is a Sunday and we're going to put a stock pot in there, mix it up, put that in there, which is my slow cooker, amazing, and then a lovely piece of beef. So into the stock we have put 500ml of hot kettle water, stirring it up because we're going to get it all dissolved so it looks good. And then we're going to pour this into a slow cooker over the beef. So we've added some pepper onto the top of the beef. We're gonna let this cook now on high while five o'clock. So I am gonna make some Yorkshire puddings up. We've got plain flour. I have a tub because I use this for bread making when I, when I make bread or make sweet dough or whatever. But I always put some bay leaves in because bay leaves stops the uh, mites from coming. So I'm going to do seven spoons of flour, four eggs, some milk, some salt for his Yorkshire puddings. So as you can see, I've got the spoonfuls of flour in the bowl and then I've just put my uh, bay leaves back on top of my flour to keep it from being uh, hot mites, we just like shake it flat, keep it level. So the beef has been on for a while, I have turned it, so I did ask for silver side and I think he's gave me a bit of top side as well as silver side, not silver side sorry, salmon cut. So that's going to be on for another couple of hours, got us veg, onion sauce, if you've not tried onion sauce with beef you're missing out. And we've got some potatoes on where James puts salt all over. So now we're going to sprinkle some salt in, mix it round. And then we're going to add in a little bit of pepper. And then I've got my whisk. This is a whisk that it, it's so easy to use. So into this now we're going to put some milk, make it into like a, not thick but thick paste and then we add the eggs. I bought this yesterday as well. So we've added the milk, so it's like a thick white paste. And now we're going to add four eggs. We're going to add them one at a time and mix it. Egg number two. Egg number three. We're going to mix that in well now. And that's it. That's all the batter done. So we're now on with the gravy and this is the stock that I had that I added this morning uh, with 500 ml of water I think it was. I can't remember how much water I put in kettle boiled water. And then into that we have used this corn flour mixed with water and a little bit of this in there and this is as gravy not too thick and what we're going to do is we're going to put the meat back into it I've never done it over. yeah I do never done it this way before and then I'm going to turn it to low so my air fryer is now on and I have it on roast because I'm doing roast potatoes. Just look how juicy they are. And then we've got white 
garlic sauce, broccoli and carrots, and my Yorkies. So it is later on. We have just had the most delicious food. Well, I said we've just had. We had it about two and a half hours ago. Uh, I have, I just need to get my roast potatoes in the air fryer like I get them in the oven. I think they need to be cooked just a little bit longer but because everything were cooked I had to get them out a bit early. I think they needed at least another 10 minutes and there would have been perfection. Per, 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 perfection. Anyway, uh, if you see my face is shining, this is me, Ella Mist, not Ella Mist, Ella Mist. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> I've, had a, I've had a comment and all on my vlogs. I don't know whether they're trying to impersonate or make them look like my Jojo with having the name Jojo or whether it's just some random person I really don't know but I've messaged Jo this morning and told her and she's looked and the name has changed on her computer on her on her whatever she watches it on it's it's changed the name's changed on hers but it hasn't on mine so I don't know whether they are, it has changed names and they've changed the names. But I think it's just a troll. It's just somebody trying to be basically a knobhead uh, in, in a fashion. Uh, so, yeah, so... Upstairs is all cleaned. All overed. Beds has changed. Uh hoovering's all done stairs is done rooms done kitchen's done i've just filled the dishwasher up and set it off so i've told william he owes me a bag of spice kidding i'm only kidding and before anybody jumps on me for i know i'm just kidding anyway uh washing's all up to date yeah i've done it all got it all dried Dunt dogs beds, just just a normal Sunday plus you know Sunday dinner in slow cooker. Miss Scoville slow cooker. Oh my god, it's amazing! It's a shame they didn't do a bigger one, but the size is perfect. So whereas I've got to have two because kids don't want chunks so it is a perfect size but for like people that's got larger families like seven or eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen twenty two kids they probably would need a larger bowl like a seven or eight kilo pot potentially uh, what else have I done I've had a shower I wash my hair I am contemplating letting my hair grow but I'm a bit dubious just depends on just depends on whether I want to or not I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do uh, I'm going to take Scarlett for her hair cutting on Thursday before her birthday. It's her birthday next Sunday. Oh, this time next Sunday, I will have, I will have had, or I will have got an 18 year old daughter. She was born at one, 12 minutes past one in the morning a.m. And then I had to go to the theatre because my placenta won't come away. So I had to be, and they couldn't get it out. He tried. He left me. They left me for hours. Like they're not supposed to leave you a long time. 
but by the time I went to theatre, it was like four o'clock in the morning, and I'd had her at quarter, 12 minutes past one. Uh, the try, he tried pulling it out in in room where I had her. Nah, it weren't budging, weren't budging at all. So I had to sign my life away because they didn't know whether they could get it out or whether they had to do a section to get it out, basically. That's how they do it. They cut you open to get it out. But luckily, touching wood, he, he got it. And first thing I said when I come round was, did you have to cut me open? And they went, no. And I went, all right. And I just went to sleep after that. Uh, <clears throat> and then Jamie... Jamie came home and then came back at afternoon and then we stayed we stayed in another night and then we went home the day after on the Monday morning uh, just because I've been to theatre and my blood sugar because I had gestational diabetes so yeah it, it, it's all all swings and roundabouts. My little baby girl is gonna be 18. It's crazy. And next year, our Isabel's 18 and William's 21. Time flies so much, it's unreal. Anyway, I am gonna finish this vlog. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Turn your post notifications on, hit your bell. Come back for another vlog with me, The Life with Mrs. R. And on that note, take care, be safe, and good night.